wondrous power of steam and steel, taking a treasure store of New England merchandise into the night. The night freight calls our attention to an element of time, the bright time of day, and here's the dark time of night. Railroading is on a 24-hour schedule. Despite the elements, and never mind the weather, be it fair or stormy, hail, sleet or snow, the night freight must go through. in the caboose keeps a record of all the cars. And the night freight seems to sing a song of work, a song with the refrain, every day, 24 hours a day. The Yankee Clipper, meanwhile, arrives at New Haven, and this brings a transformation from steam to electricity, from coal and fire to volts and amperes. The steam locomotive leaves the train. From Boston and from Springfield to New Haven, the motive power is provided by superheated steam. Then for the remainder of the run, the energy to drive the wheels is provided by dynamos. The electric locomotive is a thing of streamlined efficiency, a monarch of high tension. Electricity has been a comparatively recent story in American railroading. It began in 1895 on the New Haven Railroad, which pioneered in overhead high tension lines. Now the clipper goes speeding under electrical power. We're in a new world of railroading, a realm where a hundred thunderbolts of Jupiter are harnessed to turn the wheels of trains. The sources of electric power are coal and steam. And at this railroad-owned powerhouse, the boilers are 60 feet high. The heat meters register 2,000 degrees, generating steam with a pressure of 300 pounds to the square inch. Powdered coal blown into the furnace and burning in suspension in the air. The turbo generators hum at 1,500 revolutions per minute to produce in a single year over 100 million kilowatts of electricity. The nerve center of the powerhouse, the main control room with its elaborate equipment, here, watchful eyes check the surge of power through the overhead lines. Railroad power. A masterpiece of roadbed construction and maintenance is this four-track electrified right-of-way. Over it pass between six and seven hundred trains a day.